<laughs> I saw a werewolf with a Chinese menu in his hand. Walking through the streets of Anything soul. you need for Halloween 2017, this is Haunted School. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing a part four of my haunt build. Um, so, th this is basically night time. I'm not going to be changing anything throughout this video, but I've um, pretty much completed my indoor haunt now. Um, I'm going to be getting a big prop tomorrow. I might do a review on it. Tell me what. Tell me if you want to. If you want me to do a haunt build, if it's in a haunt build or something, or a review. Tell me what you want to do in comments below. But I'll show you um, everything in my living room. So we made a few changes. Um, put some new batteries in my school lights. A lot, a lot brighter now. Um, there's that bat from Asda. There's Wanda, my two other witches. Um, there's Dawn of the Dead. The Asda light up clown. Um, there's his eyes. The, the big Asda Pyrus. I was gonna upload a video of all the Asda life sizes, but um, it failed to upload. But I'll see if I can upload it again. But we've got this um, like bunting what goes up the archway, it looks really nice. Got um, some of the old Asta monsters, I think they're from 2012 or 2011 even. Look really nice, I've stood up for a couple of years. And there's the boo sign, and um, what we got from Poundland. There's Phantom Phaser up there, heads of parry. And these are my lanterns from b &M. And above the TV, we got Locked Up Lenny and the um, Skull Plaque. Some nice tinsel decorations. Oh, I forgot to turn the pumpkin tree on. There we go. It's one of the most effective things on the fireplace. Um, so, that's Wilco's Reaper. So, one of the big changes, guys, behind here, um, we've actually put some of these um, stickers on, we've got like rats and crows, some skulls there. Um, there's the big Asda Butler, looks really nice. Also there's Boris the Butler, 2013. There's a ghoul head from B&M. There's Asda's Six Foot Reaper. Um, so we get, there's um, Boris the Butler, 2012. So as you can see, we have done the arch the has been done with lights. I think I showed that in a previous video. But um, there's a hanging ghost. My Grim Reaper entrance thing. I've had that. Brought that from a shop called Family Bargains. I don't think they're around anymore. But I got it last year. Uh, there's a doorbell. Um, lunging Reaper. It's like that focusing on him. Um, so here. Heads up zombie, my two big dancing skeletons, the school mister, the singing skulls from being out, creepy rising doll, there's the plaque from Wilco, back window, as you can see this cobweb in, looks really nice, um, there's the ghost lights from being out, look really nice. So get, getting on in here, my range witch. I got her, I got her up a couple of days ago. She looks really nice. Um, that's my Gashler Reviews um, tablecloth. Looks really nice. So I'm where I put all this. CD player, disco ball. Um, so it's basically the party room. We're going Asda tonight to get a few stuff for the party. There's, um, we've got a few stuff for the outdoor display. These will be moved eventually. Um, but these will be going out. We got this guy yesterday, the zombie. As he's like the last one to our collection we need. And so we got these really cool stickers from BM. We got this kind of like Leatherface one. Well, that's why I call him anyway. He looks like Leatherface. Looks really cool. I really like this werewolf one. Um, there's the Haunting Book from the range. There's Medusa. And. Talking crew from Asda. So there's another Phantom Base Ripper. The two range butlers holding these two lighter pumpkins. It's a witch spirit ball. As you can see, I've got a strobe light on them both. Looks really nice. That'll probably be used for an outdoor display because all this will be took off the table when we're having a party. But here's the, the Sainsbury singing pumpkin. I actually got him repaired today. Um, I thought he was actually fried out, but it turns out 
they threw a wiser off his bus and really happy I got him working. So that, that's him. He sings quite a long song so we can't go over it. There's the ear flapping dogs. Um, th this owl, only one of his eyes lights up, but actually, yeah, it's just like really dim. But w when you first turn it on, that the other eye lights up, so it's kind of a bit weird. Um, there's some big hanging prop from the inner, and I think that's all in here. Um, so here's a big thing that I brought today, which I really like, it's kind of um, suited to our theme. Um, so I've named it 13 Kilomile Avenue, which I really like it, um, the name of it. Um, so here's some door knockers, um, really like them, with the pumpkin one, the Frankenstein books from the school. So that's the doorbells, there's the beware doorbell, and there's my broom, one of my very first props I, I actually brought. Um, so. Um, here's a really big thing guys, we got all this freaky fabric, we've put down the railings and we got, um, we brought all together 18 pairs of these blood dripping lights, they're a pound each from, from B&M, really really cool. Got four of these going upstairs, look really cool. Got these mummy heads, I've had them for a couple of years now, three different versions. There's the hanging clown, the hanging zombie, arranges flame ghost. You can see we've added some new stickers, which look really good. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but we only got the skeleton um, sticker. I'll show you that in a minute. They're my favourite um, stickers I brought from B&M today. There's the man in chains. Um, <laughs> There's another man in chains. So, and there's another hanging clown. There's a hanging reaper. There's a kicking zombie. And Albert the butler. Um, I, I, his candles don't work anymore, sadly. So, Close that door for a second. And in here, um, my room. Put some cobwebs up on the window. Zombie head eating rat. A few other little decorations. There's even more blood dripping lights. Really like how I did that. It's Barry the Butler. So here's another room we decorated. Um, looks really, really nice. We've got um, these big hanging props. The Aster Brown and Groom. There's a mummy on a skateboard. It's that uh, mummy that I fixed um, quite recently. He kind of has the same voice as the man in chains, which is really cool. There's a uh, um, movie in Grim Reaper. Um, we got this guy a while back, but there's a, another witch, or well, one of the rising witches. But really cool. Um, Here's the skeleton on the skateboard. Even more blood dripping lights. So as you've counted, we probably have um, about seven pairs of lights up so far, blood dripping lights, but I think we're gonna put more up soon. So that's all in here. Um so I think this is the last room. So there's the uh, Grim Reaper. <laughs> So we're in here, got the loft open because I've been doing some stuff up there today, getting stuff down. I've lifted all the animated props down, um, probably um, going to see which ones we're going to use. Um, but as you can see we've got quite a load. Um, so here's the final window that we've done. Now anyway, I brought these ghost lights today from B&M. Really cool, for 2 dollars so pick them up if you see them. 
We've got even more of these lights. Those are 2.99 as well, but you get a hundred of them. We've got even more of this tinsel going around. There's a singing vampire from Scenes Grease 2011. Um, there's this singing witch, the um, dancing Frankenstein, which was actually made in 2003. One of the oldest props we've got. There's the Congo skeleton and the crawling hand. Um, finally, the, um, the hanging bass. So, we've also got these Zola's lights, but it's going a bit off topic. There's a few things on the floor which I'm probably going to have to move. You know, that kind of looks better now. Um, but a few things on the floor, a lot of it's going to have to be moved. And um, will be eventually. Um, so, I think that's nearly my complete indoor haunts. So, I'm going to. So, I'll show you outside um, right now. Let's go through. So that's my home seat ball. I'm going to be doing the outdoor hall very soon. Um, so I'll give you a quick glimpse of the back of it. The back of it. Also, the Costco bottle is going to be going here. Um, I have to clear some space out, but yeah. Also, here's my computer room. We'll go have to put some lights around there just to make it look a bit better. Um, because I think I brought an extra pair of lights, but we'll see. So here's the back of our house. You can see there's a one with ghost lights in. So one living room. There's that room, party room. So that's all I have to really show for my horn so far. Doing, I'll be doing the backyard horn, even though no one will see it. I just wanted to do a video of it, you know. And the front yard, I'll be doing that very soon, but I think we might be still adding to it, I'm not sure. But um, that's all the lights put up, I think. Um, so um, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Remember, anything you need for Halloween 2017, this is Haunted School.